Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and I'm here today to work on the Autumn Journal. And this is Joey Cardmaker's um, Autumn Folk Kit, is what I'm using for this envelope journal. I'm doing the two of them, if this is your first time joining us. I'm doing a Halloween one, and I'm doing this Autumn one. So, what we have is this, oh, I know, I was going to put this in. This is also in Joy's kit. It's super cute. This journal belongs to, so I thought that could go right there, and then whoever ends up with this journal can write their name in it. So, how you guys doing? I hope you're all fantastic. I want to say hugs and blessings to Fern, Brenda, and Tracy. Thank you guys so much for always having kind comments and just... Um, you know, just being lovely. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all of you. I thank you all. Yeah, so just uh, trying to get stuff done, like always. No real stories or anything today. Just trucking along. My daughter's car is working so far, knock on wood. We put a new battery in it. Mm. Oh, boy. And my son still don't know because they still haven't even looked at his car. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw. I, um, when I did this, I didn't put this little, this is one of the tea cards that are in the kit with that adorable little mouse. And then I just tucked a, a tag behind it. So that's that. I'm already sticking to my, to my blue page. All right, and then we have that page that we did together with the little tuck in there and a tuck in here. And you could, somebody mentioned I could have made this a pocket. I very well could have um, turned that into another little tuck. So you may do that in yours if you so choose. And so today we're going to work on this. And this is, again, um, one of my coffee dyed envelopes. And you guys have been so lovely about these. I do have a video on this. I think it's tea dyeing. But anyway, what I do is take just a white envelope. I cut it open on the sides. Well, you don't even have to cut it open. You can leave it um, as just an envelope. But anyway, I drip with a dropper like this. I put it in coffee and I just drip, drip, drip all over it. And I let it dry. And then I drip, 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 drip some more. That's how I get the different variations in um, my coffee dyeing. I don't do it all at once. I, I mean, I do do that as well, like everybody does when I just want coffee dyed pages. But to get this look of the splotches on top of each other, that kind of thing, it's just the drip, 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 dry, drip, 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 dry, you know, however many times you feel like doing it. All right, so I think... I'm gonna start on this side and I have this cute little tag we're gonna put on eventually and some other bits and pieces, but I'm gonna start in here on this um, envelope, the blue part. I don't really want the blue part. And I went over to uh, Joey Cardmaker's coffee page. It's, um, I think it's K-O-F-F-E-E, -E, I think. I'm not sure. I'll try to remember to put the link to his coffee page in the description box below. You can um, donate a couple dollars to, you know, print out whatever you'd like on his coffee page or you, I mean, they're free. So um, you can choose to get them for free, but it's kind of nice to, you know, give them a little something because this is, this is work to do these, these type of things. But anyway, um, this, uh, this is super cool, Joey. <laughs> I love this page. Look at that collage. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, I really like that. I love this leaf right here. But anyways, um, he also has these, which are super fun. And what I did is cut, I used my fall fodder stencils, these kind of stencils with just the leaves and whatnot. And I cut out just leaves. And then I did a pumpkin and if I can get a hold of it, an acorn and a couple other little leaves just because I thought those are super fun little backgrounds and we're going to do a little something with that in a bit. But for the collaging, we're going to use these because like I said, I think they're super cool. Plus his, his pages, like this is in the kit. I love that. Um, the sunflowers. So we're going to use this stuff to collage on the inside of this which I mentioned when um, 
I was doing my Halloween one and I used my number 10 window envelope covers. I also used one in this earlier, this journal. But um, you can also just collage around the window and then you don't have to have those. So that's what we're going to do with this one because all these papers are really fun. So I'm just going to kind of go for it basically. And see what we get. So I hope you guys are doing well, staying cool or warm or I don't know, all the things. So hopefully everything's well wherever you are. And I think I'm just going to come right up along the window. I might make that a little thinner because I'm thinking I want some writing space on some of these so that, um, you, know, you know, I'm not taking away all the writing space. So yeah, just hope you're doing good. I do have my fan going today. It's a little warmer today again. It's um, kind of going up and down, but it's cooling off at night. So I will take it because I love when it cools off at night and you can sleep comfortably. It's lovely. So I think what I might do is take, I know I'm all over the place, so I apologize, but I want to take one of these because it's got this plain paper here. So I think I'm going to tear right at this pumpkin right here. And then that way I'll have that little bit of writing area. And then we'll put those leaves on. But yeah, it's. Um, I love that one. Get some fresh air in the house in the evening. It makes sleeping so much easier. It's wonderful. I don't know what my son is texting me about. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Lately, every time I do a video, he's. Which is fine, it's just funny because I've, all morning I've been, you know, cutting on the Glowforge and whatever, and not a peep from anybody. And then all of a sudden, I'm very popular. I might take a piece of this and put it down under there. It would look kind of cool. Maybe this, is that big enough? Yeah. I think I will. That's, this is a great page for collaging or just, you know, as a whole. It's really cool. Very cool. Tear all the way down with that one. Because you got lots of variety, which is always fun when you're collaging to have lots of different bits and pieces. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I do have my new, um, I'm calling it more fall fodder, or more doodle fall fodder, because I doodled all these. So if you have the other kit and were thinking you wanted more, well, here's more. These are different. This is the second set of stencils with the pumpkins and gourds and, um, you know, leaves and things like that. So it's not, oh, and the apples. I like the apples. Um, it's not the same uh, images as the last one, because it's the, the second set of stencils. So it's a little different, but yeah. So that's a good one. So I'll put that there. Got to get my groove on for collaging. I haven't collaged in quite a while. I mean, you know, a, more of an expanse. I do some little collages, but... So yeah, that is in my Etsy shop. And I thank you guys for your interest in those. Those are, they are really fun to play with. Um, they're fun to make and they're also fun to use in ephemera because you can put, you know, a little uh, watercolor down on a journaling card, add a couple of those and boom, it's like done. 
So, or a card card, a greeting card. Definitely makes for an easier greeting card, journaling card, or tag when you don't have to try to think of things to put on it. So yeah, it's fun. Okay, what did I do with my cards? I'm telling you guys, I'm a mess. I keep moving things for some reason. And then I forget where I moved them to. Cute, cute, cute. And then we'll take our, this little piece and go right over it. I might tear it before it gets to the pumpkin. And we'll put something else not quite as over this way on the pumpkin. So it doesn't cover it too much. So what kind of projects do you guys going on, got going on? Have you started fall or are you still doing some fun like summer stuff? Or what? I'm ready for fall. It could stay fall for the actual three months though and that would be fantastic. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love the colors and I love that crispness in the air, but you know, all you need is like a sweatshirt. Yeah, I love that. I'm not freezing yet. Fabulous. So I'm very excited for that. I like going to the football game to see my daughter. Also getting to where I just kind of enjoy, well, I think I've always kind of enjoyed the football being on the television. I don't always pay attention. It's real hard for me to <laughs> pay a whole lot of attention to, but um, I think, because my dad watched football, so I think that that sound is very comforting to me. I think I'll do something like that, just that kind of raggedy piece, and then we'll tear off that bottom part. Yeah, and he'd always make, like, stews and chili and, you know, all that kind of stuff on Sundays. So I think I just, it, I find it very comforting. So I'm looking forward to that. He was a, a really good cook, my dad. He's very lucky. For many reasons to have him around. But yeah, definitely a good cook. Um, hmm. Don't know what piece I want to use next. I kind of like that square. I mean, you don't have, the other thing is you don't have to use the whole thing. You could, um, you might keep this little brown stripe of it. You could use half of it or whatever. But I just want to use the, I think I'll use the whole square. So yeah, if you don't know anything about Joey Cardmaker, please do go check out his um, his YouTube channel is mostly, like, he does the flip-throughs of the, of his kits. He's got some great kits, um, and they're in his Etsy shop, so definitely pop over and check that out, because he's got beautiful things. And, um, then his coffee, too. It's always good to support, um, artists. It's just real hard to, you know, make a living at it, so definitely support them because that allows them even if they have to have another job or whatever to at least be able to maybe have a little more time for art and he is in Australia
great guy. He's been taking care of a of a friend who's ill. Just just a great great human being. So good person to throw a little support to. If you can. Just do that, like that, with the leaves on there, too. So, yeah, this one's just mostly going to be decorative. I could add, like, a kind of a blank bit, you know, in the middle. That might be kind of cool, just for something different. In the middle of a collage, a little spot to write. Kind of fun. What do we want? We could do the other part of this and have it like or maybe just a piece of this. Mm, I think I want it wider, the blank part. Let's see what else I can find here. Oh I know. Ooh, I want to use a piece of that. I like that. Mushrooms. So cute. That's in that in the kit, the regular kit. Ooh, I know what I can do. I will use if I can find it. Mm. Where did I put it? I'll lose my ruler next. That'll be my next. Probably my next hat trick. If that's what I do. Okay, let's look in here. Ooh, I like the pumpkins too. <laughs> I like all of them. One of these would be kind of cool, I think. One of these. These are uh, meant to be journaling cards and that type of thing, which of course they can be, but I'm going to use one to go in that spot there. Use one of these with the lines. I don't think I want lines. I think I want it to just look um, like it's intentional, but not really intentional, if you know what I'm saying. If that makes any sense. I like liking this dark frame. Yeah, his kit's got all kinds of goodies. Wow. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> like, I can do a kit and pages, but I'm not as good at all the other little bits and pieces that go with it. I think it's because I tend to make a lot of my own stuff, so I just don't think about it, I guess. Weird. But, see, then you could just write a little something right there. Which is fun. And I think I'll put something else across the top before I put this down. Um, let's see. Maybe one of these borders would be good that's around something else. Like this. I know, I'm just tearing up <laughs> all the pieces. I'm sorry. I kind of do that kind of stuff. Um, Too wide, huh? 
I'm going to tear this side off. Truly you wouldn't have to cover these and I might not cover that last piece of this manila colored envelope that goes right here. But this one I'm going to because it's got the weird uh, like fold lines or whatever. Part of this will get covered with that frame, but that's okay. That's kind of how it ends up, right? Am I covering that window a lot? Kind of. Let's get a little bit of... Doop up my sponge there. <laughs> but then, it's just better. I don't know. And then when we put this on, you'll still see some of that up there, so that's fun. I'm just duping up all of my glue pages all at the same time here. And my watercolor box is in the way. Yeah, it was downright cold the night before last. It was kind of crazy. We had the window open and then it was like, ooh, <laughs> I need to close that. It's cold. I think I might use these sunflowers right here, just like a bit of them. This is so cool. And of course I'm gonna tear it, because yeah. Can't help myself sometimes. I don't want the board on it necessarily. Let's see, we could use that other little piece somewhere as just a little writing spot too. I don't need all of that, although I really do like that um, those dots. But I think I'm gonna take it off. Try to get it semi straight if I can. I do love sunflowers. We get uh, here in Idaho, we get little tiny ones that are about that big and they grow kind of all, all over a, a bush of. <laughs> I mean, the the main plant looks a lot like the big sunflowers. There's just multiple branches on them. And they get all those little tiny sunflowers. They grow like wild, like all over the place here. And it's, they're very cute. My sister was saying she tried to get some seeds in the fall and then put them in her yard, you know, so she'd have them and they won't grow. I'm thinking they probably don't like very much water is what I think about, about it. They because like I said, they just grow on the side of the road or wherever. So I think they just are used to no water basically. And in a yard, they're getting some water all the time. So I think that's part of the problem she might've had. Right there. Let's 
so happy and cute. Just used a piece, and yeah, I guess so, because it's just the bottoms of the sunflowers. So it looks a little strange. Sorry, I can't fold that out all the way because that lamp, we have like a light right there. That's what that thing is. And if I move it, then my camera goes darker. It has to have that light like right over it. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's always something. Let's use. out of there, but I think I want to use just some of this check. Love that. It's all very happy. Happy colors. Ah. Joey also has a cute Halloween freebie too. I might have to go get that too. <laughs> Play with it in my Halloween journal. I think that would be fun. Use a piece of that again. That would help sort of tie it together. But there's other cool bits too. Look at that. Ooh, and that blue. We really need some of that blue because there's a little blue down here. Let's do some blue. Like this. I'm just eyeballing. I know it would probably really help if I would measure. But But I'm not because I don't. <laughs> the part I like about junk journaling was not having to measure everything. It would drive me crazy about scrapbooking. It just felt like, uh, When I was doing it, I know it's gotten a lot looser now. But it felt very restrictive. All the perfect little boxes and things. this weird little spot right here. I have these stamps that are in Joey's kit and I think they would be really cute to put one of those. And then I could put one somewhere else too just so that it feels like it goes together, right? It'd be good to have one with some blue. This one that I didn't cut out. I had to use ah! I just dropped my scissors deckle edge. They're not a stamp edge. I know you can get those, so if you have the stamp edge, that would probably be better to use. But I cannot patiently cut all those little... <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that 
kind of sends me over the edge. <laughs> I don't mind fussy cutting. I can do that, and it's I find it very relaxing, actually. But for some reason, those kind of monotonous things like that, not relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll use that blue one there. Or blue-edged one. Cute little house. And of course, you could do master board like this and make tags and stuff for your journal. It doesn't have to be um, this envelope thing I got going on. So cute. My goodness. It's like cuteness overload. It's a little busy, but man, I really love, I love all of it. It just makes me very happy. Is that not happy? I mean, it's just so happy. And you got a couple of writing spots still, but you got lovely decorations. And look, it just looks so cool. Okay, well, I'm going to, I'm not going to fold that yet. I'm just going to flip the whole thing over and we're going to do some things on this side. Now, again, with this, I don't want to, um... cover this coffee dye up because why coffee dye if you're just going to cover the whole thing right so I'm going to just put a pocket and a little collage on this side and so that's why I have my little or Joey's little corner pocket here these this is in the actual kit this uh, little corner pockets there's different uh, sizes too and you can also score those so they are perfect. I backed it with some coffee, oh, coffee, uh, book page because um, it was just copy paper. That's what I, I had multiple things happening in my brain all at the same time. But um, yeah, so you can back it with whatever, just so that. Uh, what did I do? So it's a little bit thicker, you know, putting stuff in and out of it, so it doesn't just tear off or you know. I'm just doing that. I don't want all that bulk, bulk in the corner. They were already had the little corner area. I think I folded it too much, but that's okay. It'll work fine still. So then, and the cool part about these is you can turn them just about any which way. Do I want to? Ah, uh, it's gonna hang over. I think we'll just snip it a little. We'll just we'll just snip that little this little bit off and it'll be just fine that's the thing with envelopes you got to kind of be willing to um, change it up because obviously this kit was made for regular pages not these kind of pages so But it's very versatile, as you can see. It's not a problem. These are great because it's just a little spot to tuck something. And then they're gusseted, so it actually, you know, holds a, a decent tag. my little tag basically done. I just have to put some coffee paper on the back. Coffee dyed paper. It looks a little bit sad. <laughs> so, so people are so cute in this. I guess I should have put the coffee dyed paper on before I did that, huh? Yeah. do it crooked like that too and then I have to it's alright I'll probably end up using this whole page for 
backing tags or whatever. It'll get used one way or another. Got some use out of that gift card. <laughs> both, both stuff I bought and using it for glue spreading or whatever. I did get those spreaders though, which I'm very excited about. I forgot I had those until just now. like that torn edge down there. It'll probably just get all messed up though, huh? It looks cute. I know I'm telling you guys what these little tiny scissors, sorry. And now they're going to be all sticky to top it off. And I don't know what I'll put in the top of that yet, but I'll figure it out. You guys know the drill. Can add an eyelet or just some twine or fabric or a million things. And I don't really feel like this needs a whole lot because he's got a bunny and a puppy dog and all the things he needs right there. Okay. Put that in that pocket. Super cute. Hanging out in there. Oh, we can do something to the front of the pocket, though. That's for sure, huh? Well, let's get this other bit done that I know. And if I whatever I have left over, I can use on that. So like I said, I just used my fall fodder stencils and then these, this fussy cut and this flower and this are all from Joey's kit. But I think I want to do like a little, I'm not going to worry about this side right now because I'll probably just cover it entirely with something you can write on. So that's probably what will happen there. I might go ahead and put a little bit of that green on there. Ay, ay, ay. I have goofed up everything today. So maybe just a little. Is this one called Peel Pink? I just like this stress oxide on these pumpkins, works well. You could just leave it orange too. I'm just a weirdo about stuff like this. And I'll leave a little orange peeking out through there. And then we're also gonna take our handy dandy little pen and while that dries and set it up there. Go around these. What are we at? 39 minutes. And I'm not being precious about every little thing. You don't even have to do solid lines. You can do broken lines, squiggly lines, especially if you have my hands. I couldn't do, I couldn't do it precious if I wanted to, <laughs> but I think it just looks cool. I don't know. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the line down the middle real loose and some lines in here.
And you could add all kinds of things if you wanted to. I just want to keep these pretty simple. Just, um, you know, it just gives you a, a finished edge or whatever you want to call it to it. So they don't look as flat that way. Because I always felt like I never really liked a lot of the old die cuts because they felt flat. And I think it just really helps to do this kind of thing to them. That's why I was, when I did my fall fodder stencils and stuff, I was doodling all over them because I just, it just needs something. It just does. Okay, ink that and glue it together. Oh, Pasha, he got up from your nap. He got up from his nap. He's got a stuffy nose. I told my husband, because we, you know, got our countertops and all that, and then um, I had some wax melts, you know, sensi type things. And it's been feeling like fall, so I put some of those in. And then he's really congested, and I told my husband, I think that might be something that he is allergic to, like that bothers his nose, because he just gets super congested. And my husband was like, that does make sense. So how silly is that? But yep. So I did this one out of the um, sunflower paper, as you can see. I mean, we know he has allergies because I take him in to get steroid shots, but you know, I just thought it was outdoor stuff or whatever in the air. But I think those might also be a culprit. So I may not be using those as much as I used to. Our little furry baby. Okay, just just give it a little something, right? I don't know what I'll do exactly with all these, but we'll see. Go over the same spots and all that. I have these little ones too. They're real easy, just kind of fluttery around the edges. I think I might put that one on there as a pumpkin leaf, even though it's sort of a different shape. And let's see what we can... Oh, I forgot to do my pumpkin, huh? It's dry. That stuff dries so fast. So much faster than a, like, watercolor or whatever. but you can do some little dots and squiggles or whatever. See, it just adds something to it, I think. Can finish this off. So you can see, I am definitely not doing anything 
um, difficult or fancy or anything. <laughs> Scoop this up. Yeah. I mean, and obviously, scale is way out here because that acorn is gigantic, but it's all right. I did that already. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna worry about the other leaf right now. Don't think it will fit, but I do like the little flower on there. This leaf could be sitting down here. Yeah, this one, I don't know. I don't feel like that one goes, so I'm not going to put it on there. Okay, we can use it somewhere else. Um, first one down, those ones probably. Just trying to see that where it's at. So thank you, Joey, for these from your coffee. They're so cute. Fabulous. Love it. Stick that down and put. Is it this? Or is the other leaf? Huh. Super cute. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> but it is. Let's put this one on. Actually, I kind of feel like this needs to go back here. go down the order of all the things right Maybe I'll put that right there let me see my stem okay there it is that's what I got for you today and I don't know I had these cut out this could go down here, huh? Maybe we'll... Can I lift this still? Yeah. This needs ink. ink a dink a do. Since I didn't get it cut out that great. <laughs> that was going to rip it. Scared myself. Did 
That's the only thing when you print on copy paper, it is sketch sometimes. Yeah, I could have tucked that in further, but it's all right. It's where it landed, right? And like I said, I'll put something in there. We have that side that'll get I'm kind of scared. Scared to fold all these right now. Oh, it right, worked pretty good. And look, you see the mushrooms in there. Except this has to get folded down. This is always the tricky part. Oh, and you're going to see the plane and some leaves. But if you write on there, you'll see whatever you wrote. Okay. So there's our little pumpkin collage. And then you get your little gentleman here. i got to put something there. But I don't, I don't want this, so... I will figure that out and we'll come do that or I'll show it to you another day. Matt. Oh, and I want to thank you guys for putting in your two cents about um, whether you wanted me to keep doing these. Uh, the consensus definitely is that I keep doing them, so I will keep doing them. I totally wanted to keep doing them with you guys. I just want to make sure everybody wasn't like, oh my gosh, these again, is she ever going to finish them? I am just going along page by page and since there's two of them, you know, it kind of shows it does take a minute to get them all, all done. That is not glued down very good. So I'm glad to know that you guys want me to keep going, and I will. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will chat again soon. If I wanted to, I could. Um, it's not going to go over that. Yeah, that's how that is. All right, have a great day, and we'll chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.